everyone hope you're all doing good thank you for joining me at this time um, thank you to all my new subscribers and uh, I appreciate the immense support that I get from all my subbies thank you thank you very much guys this is going to be a quick yet an adventurous Dollar Tree haul um, before I get into the haul guys I just have something to confess not confess I guess just to kind of have a friendly chit chat or a conversation so if you guys are interested stay tuned get maybe get a cup of green tea or hot coffee whatever you wish or just get into your um, cozy outfit and uh, your cozy throw put on a cozy throw and just listen to my rambling um, I don't know why I feel the need to um, share this with you but hey you're my friend so so, during the weekend, I was having cravings um, of one of my favorite dish from one of my favorite restaurant. When I say favorite, we've been visiting this restaurant quite, quite frequently, a little further away from us. Um, but we do go there quite often and uh, this particular dish we do order most of the time, I would say, because that's one of our favorites. I don't want to talk about the ethnicity of the restaurant by itself because I don't want to offend anyone taking because it's very easy for people to generalize and just you know i don't just don't want to go there so i'm not going to talk about what kind of restaurant it is but i just wanted to definitely emphasize that this was one of our favorite that's not the first time we've been there and this particular dish is not the first time we've eaten we've eaten this way way too many times so it's not about the dish it's not about the restaurants i just want to lay it ahead so well anyways i was having cravings and uh, we didn't have plans um, to go and it was um, of course weekend so my husband was like okay I'll take you uh, he's so sweet I loved him thank you honey he took me to the restaurant we went to the restaurant and as usual we ordered the one that I'm craving for and that's something we normally or generally order which I have mentioned um, earlier we ordered it we had a great time um, and a live music was going on because of uh, because of the weekend so we enjoyed our food and uh, I ate so much but while I was eating I was telling my husband this doesn't taste like before like every because I eat it so frequently my taste buds know how it tastes as if I'm like a chef I feel as if I'm the owner of the dish do you ever feel that like if you eat a dish too many times you know what ingredients go in there and how it tastes you pretty much behave or own it and take the ownership of the dish like a chef that's how I felt and while I was eating I was telling my husband that it doesn't taste as usual something is different something is different yet I ate stomach full because I was hungry very very hungry and I'm craving of course so I just had it and my husband goes no you're so hungry that's why maybe you're feeling the taste different I'm like no when you're hungry even a two star would feel like ten star you know right that's true right you even when you are seriously hungry even the awful food will taste so yummy but in this case that was that I mean it's not yucky it's good but something was different I can't really pinpoint what it is I can't really put my hand on it but something was different we had our food um, we had the des I normally I have I also have the dessert but my stomach was so full that I didn't want to we got into the car and I told my and it's quite a drive guys like 30 minute drive so I told my husband that I don't think I can sit in the car for 30 minutes with this you know a uh, full feeling like I felt like I ate too much it's up until my brim like I can't handle it I had to walk I have to make little light I can't even breathe like I'm feeling like I'm suffocating I eat up until my you know throat so I told my husband that I can't uh, sit in the car like this I just have to walk for a while but it's really cold the impact of the storm was uh, um, we can see that impact as well it's really cold so my husband said okay fine let's see if there is a shopping complex so you can go inside the store and we could walk so that you know you feel a little lighter and you don't have to be in the cold weather so we opposite there was a, a shopping complex that we know but we have never been there but we know it exists so we just inside, went inside to see if there are any stores and hold and behold there's a dollar tree i had been coming to this restaurant for almost an year now close to an year now at least maybe more than like 10 
at least 10 times I had visited this uh, restaurant, guys, and I have never noticed there was a Dollar Tree. I don't know if it was a new one. I don't know if it was always there, but I was like, oh, singing, angels are singing. So I was like, hey, there is a Dollar Tree. Very well. So I told my husband, fine, let's go inside. Dollar Tree is here. So I'll just uh, walk and then also maybe feel better. So I get inside and I'm, I'm super excited and thrilled that I found a new Dollar Tree. And it's uh, not that huge it's a little smaller dollar tree very small dollar tree uh, maybe like five six aisles it just crapped into a store it was like that well inside i went and picked up some items and my husband is like is it too hot for you in here uh, just because obviously the weather is cold so i kind of um, dressed up based on the weather but once when you go into the store um, restaurant obviously they would be cooling but when you go to a store this store i felt it was you know maybe air condition isn't working or i don't know i somehow felt suffocated so i took my jacket off and my husband is like what is wrong i don't know i was feeling very um, i was sweating um, i normally don't sweat until unless i'm doing workout or if it's too hot or anything like that i don't sweat and i started sweating a little bit and i'm feeling so uneasy dizzy um, so I told my husband it could be because, you know, this, we were in the cold weather and all of a sudden we came to the Dollar Tree, which is hot. That's how I felt. Maybe the transition is making me feel like that. And he says, if you're not really feeling good, let's go. And I'm like, OK, um, let's go. And I just went to the checkout, um, check, finished um, checking out and got into the car. And again, like I said, it's a 30 minute drive. And as we are going, I'm just not feeling well. I just pull, reclined my car seat as far as I could and I'm laying down but I'm so uncomfortable I can't really say what I'm feeling I'm feeling dizzy I'm feeling pukish I'm my stomach is kind of grumbling uh, I I just have too many things going on it I just I can't even tell you what's going on but I told my husband to stop at a couple of pit stops because I was feeling pukish but yet nothing sorry guys if you're drinking coffee or tea i don't want to gross you out but nothing I, I nothing is coming out but i just feel like that i couldn't wait and i'm like we got home my husband said he's also having a feeling night not like a pukish feeling but kind of stomach issue so well anyways um like we we both of us had that issue i think something was wrong with the food the funny feeling that i had at the restaurant i probably was right uh, uh, the whole night I was feeling I was really cold I got really cold but yet, yet I was sweating my my body felt so weak um, like you know I felt like dehydrated just like within a half an hour span it just felt like whole thing flipped around um, I was nice I mean I wasn't sick or anything like that before but within 30 minutes span I just feel like I got so much sick I felt like dehydrated I felt like um, I, I, really guys if I'm not exaggerating I felt like I was dying um, that's too much to say but at that moment that's how I felt um, so anyways we went to a 24-hour clinic and um, the worst part of it is they had to um, clean up my stomach they said it's food poison and they need to clean up my stomach but there isn't anything I I mean everything has come out <laughs> you know what I mean like it's been a few hours after the dinner and then I puked and stomach I had stomach issues so I don't know what is left in my tummy for them to clean it up but they cleaned up that was a so painful part and we were there for a few hours and I didn't I, I don't like to stay in the clinic guys they asked they suggested to stay for an overnight and uh, uh, you know go next day morning but I just couldn't uh, once I felt a little better once they had to do all they had to clean up and all that got my fluids and all it and I was ready to go once I got my fluids I'm like let's go home let's go home I don't feel comfortable my husband goes um yeah I wish we wouldn't have gone to the restaurant um I took you there although it's my wish and my request he took me there, there on my request but he was taking so much guilt that because he took me there of course he had also had uh, the same food and he had the same issues but he didn't get sick as i have he didn't get as dehydrated as i i have he didn't dehydrate at all he just had a pukish feeling and his stomach was bad and that's about it but not like me so he was feeling guilty and uh, you know what came out of my mouth can you can you guess i can't believe i said that i'm like it's okay, honey. I discovered new Dollar Tree. This is what I told him. I did. I maybe I was. Yes, that's what I felt inside. But I didn't think I said that loud. I just wanted to say it's okay, honey. It's not your mistake. That's what I wanted to say. 
out loud but inside i was thinking ah at least i discovered idolatry how crazy should i be to think that and i said it loud to my husband and he's like you're crazy am i crazy guys it's weird right it's really seriously weird and uh, crazy to think that in in that time i'm like i felt funny i felt weird bizarre and all kind of feelings were coming well anyways that's a long story short you guys that that's why i said this is an adventurous uh, dollatory i'm still recovering from from it i'm seriously dehydrated um i couldn't take off from work i had some already assigned uh, i had some assignments that i can't really skip on or assign to somebody else so i had to go to work so i went to work and um i need some diversion just, just laying on the bed is making me that much more sick so i just wanted to get some videos out and talking to family and friends makes it better my husband is not home yet so i just felt like talking to someone so i'm just here so that's my whole adventurous story so let without i can't say without any further ado anymore right i'm i'm not even eligible to say that so let's go ahead and start you so let's just uh, go ahead and uh, feature you the items that I picked up at Dollar Tree at my adventurous Dollar Tree So let's just go ahead and begin with the flowers that I got the white flowers. These are two bunches These are really nice. I got this to make an arrangement from Valentine's Day um, Valentine's Day um, normally when you think of Valentine's Day you pick up uh, red roses or any flowers that are red in color but I have too much red going on in my decor at this time so I thought I would rather pick um, some other color just to kind of lighten it up and uh, bring some variation in the decor so I picked up these um, white flowers and also in the vase or vase however you want to call it when you put the flowers in you don't have to put the uh, rocks the you know uh, decorating rocks or the marbles or that you pick up at the dollar tree uh, what i did in my ways or was is the garlands that you got at christmas and uh, the red color garlands i just put them in the ways as a filler and then i put these white flowers in together like that that's the idea pretty much um to put those red um garland as the filler and put the white roses i thought it'll be really nice uh, and tied in with the decor with the valentine decor because red is in the walls as a filler and then you have white to kind of lighten it up so it just um, is all put together and pretty and i really like the these flowers these are small but then you know very lush and uh, more natural i would say some of these fake flowers scream fake so loud you know so I just try to make sure that they are a little bit closer to the natural field. So that's what. And then I picked up the pillowcases. I don't know. I have not seen the satin pillowcases uh, at my Dollar Tree before. So I'm thinking these are new. But uh, correct me if I'm wrong. And if you had seen this, like, you know, if the Dollar Tree always carried them. But for me, it's the first time. Um, I had seen regular pillowcases and then the pattern ones that I've hauled in many of my Dollar Tree hauls. But the pillow ones, um, for, but the satin ones, this is the first time. I picked two of them in black. They were in red, green, um, but I didn't like the shade um, of the greens and also the red. They're not the bright red. Even the green is not the bright green. It's kind of faded green. So I instead opt for the black ones. And uh, the reason for me to get the satin is... Um, I'm, I read, um, I know, I have known this, but I've never implemented it. I read in some blogs or Googles or somewhere else that satin is good so that it would avoid having wrinkles on your face and all that. I don't know how far that's true though, but if I could get it for it, normally satin is a bit expensive. And initially I tried satin pillowcases. I felt really hot. Uh, not only the pillowcases, I had the whole set, like the bed set, uh, the um, fitted sheet and the... Uh, even the flat sheet was all uh, satin and it was too hot. So I thought, okay, let me just try it out with the satin pillowcase alone. So I just picked up these two to give it a try. Um, I don't know about the wrinkles and everything, but I just wanted to, you know, use these up. And they're pretty too. They're really nice uh, to the texture. And you know how I like the Dollar Tree pillowcases, the pattern ones. I really like. So I'm sure that these are made by the same brand again. These are made by Home Collection. And this is for 20 inches into 30 inches. That's a measurement on it. So I picked those guys up. 
and then I picked up a Betty Crocker um, easy seal four storage containers uh, like it's shown in my um, Dollar Tree favorites if you're interested I'll link it somewhere in here or maybe in the description box below I had shown one type of Betty Crocker um, containers that I do really like um, a specific uh, round ones that are a bit larger than this maybe this size and this big um, but these are the smaller version of them I have not seen this before in the Dollar Tree in my Dollar Tree at least so this new Dollar Tree that I went that I saw these um, these are really small you guys it holds um, half a cup four florons or 120 ml and you get four in them I hope the lids are strong and uh, they become my favorites as the other Betty Crocker containers are. so I just wanted to give it a try these are since half cup I thought it will be really nice to portion the food um, or the fruit even to store and save them and it will be really nice to throw it in my husband's lunch and my lunch for fruits or you know for salads or whatever so I picked that one up and then I just picked up uh, the summer stuff is coming in guys uh, so that makes me really happy so this is a hanging butterfly decoration and it just has a butterfly at the top like that it's really cute I got one last year uh, it's really nice uh, but uh, this color really I liked it the one that I got last year was blue and this time I wanted to go I thought in the Sun if I have this orange or yellow it kind of is in between I can't say this is yellow I can't say this is orange it's in between it has got tint of both colors and in the Sun I thought if the Sun rays reflecting it's going to give that much more uh, prettier colors and brighter colors so it just has some cute nice balls the green and the this is a larger one that's in brown gold and again you have one green and then there is this dazzle that's hanging through and again it has all tilted colors like a diamond so it's really pretty I really like that so I picked that one up and then I want to finish this one boring item and then go to the nail stuff so this is just a travel um, magic shine there are two in the pack uh, it says for a fast and easy shine nothing to say nothing special I just got this for my husband so he can shine his shoes up I never tried it before so I'm interested interested to see how it's going to perform for a dollar and then I picked up this uh, two pack reflective safety bands I've been looking for this for a while now might be my Dollar Tree might be carrying it but I have like I said I've been looking for it and I haven't found them but this particular Dollar Tree had them and you get two in a pack um, we go uh, we go for a walk or biking uh, pretty late when we return home it's already dark especially now that it's winter so it's always good to have the safety bands we had the safety bands but I don't know where we lost it we did um, so we lost I've... our um, six safety bands and I've been looking for them at my Dollar Tree ever since maybe like three months from now I haven't um, found this one at my Dollar Tree or any other Dollar Tree I visited um, in the past two months so I'm glad that I could find it here so this is greens and the oranges you know how the safety bands are the bright and the reflective kind so I just picked and I'm super glad that I don't have to sp spend more because actually my husband was saying that he would go to Dick's or maybe like the sports authority to find these bands um, that would have been cost definitely way more than dollars so I'm glad that we could get two safety bands just for a dollar thank you Dollar Tree for that and then I just picked up uh, uh, two of the Sally Hansen nail polishes and uh, this one is in the color I don't know if you could read it but it is a 40 purple pizzazz and that's how it looks like these are the extreme wear nail polishes and uh, this is purple and this is how it looks like this is like three coats you guys um, it's purple it has a uh, kind of shimmer oh uh, a, a red tint to it so that is this this is the one and then this is another um sally hansen extreme wear nail polish that i picked up that has got silver glitter and then some reds and greens in it as you can see there is no sticker and uh, by the way i opened this up um, to swatch them on my nails and this is how it looks like that's how it looked like um, so I just picked these two up I'm very I really like this one this is like even on the 
third coat it is uh, transparent and uh, as most of you know or if you don't I don't like uh, my nails peeking through the polish so I want um, pretty coated so I had gone three coats on it but two coats should be good enough for you guys but and this one you can just top it on any nail polish just to kind of give a little bit more uh, shimmer or little a little bit more uh, definition to it so that's pretty much it in this Dollar Tree guys I know it this has been a really long video but I just wanted to share my adventure and uh, thank you so much guys uh, for giving me this time and to divert my mind from the suffering that i'm going through it's still hurting me inside i can't really pinpoint and say what exactly it's hurting uh, but my throat hurts my tummy hurts and i'm weak and a bit dehydrated yet i want to do this nothing is going to stop me not that they can't wait they could but just you know i don't want the sickness to defeat me if you know what i mean so i just wanted to go ahead and uh, be a trooper and just finish this off so thank you very much again for sticking on and listening to my rambling i guess um or thank you for being a very good listener a good friend for me thank you very very much i'll see you in my next video until then you guys take care Bye bye